I was trying to recount how many days we've been up. It feels like three days. It's actually been two out of three days. How do you read the rebound in growth stocks like technology and the appetite for risk just one and a half weeks out from the forced sale of Credit Suisse to UBS? Are investors just desperate to move on to something pedestrian like PCE, or are we truly past the worst of the bank crisis? Uh, I hope and I think we're past the worst of the bank crisis. Look, there have been a lot of ring fences put up um, that hopefully will be sustained, but that doesn't mean we're past all the issues related to what the Fed's done in the last 12 months, i.e. raising rates from zero to four and three quarters. That has consequences, and we've seen one of them so far. Could there be more? I don't necessarily mean another bank failure, but it could mean a slowing economy, you know, that long lag. What I like about today is unlike recent days, recent days has been either tech or financials and energy. Mm -hmm. Today it's both going up. That's encouraging. That is encouraging. Yet at the same time, uh, our Lu Wang has written about how strategists have not changed their year-end forecasts for the S&P 500. It remains stuck at 4,050 for a third straight week. Why do you think that is? Is it because we're still trying to sift through and understand what the repercussions are? I, I do. It's not unlike analysts uh, for first quarter earnings. They've not made a whole lot of changes because I don't think they know. I mean, financial earnings in the first quarter consensus up 6%. I don't gonna think they're going to be quite that good after all we've been through. So my guess is uh, analysts and strategists are waiting to see a little more evidence of the way the world's going before they change their numbers. Such a contrast, Katie, to how traders react immediately anytime <laughs> something happens to what the Fed is going to do. No, it's going to cut rates now, right? I know, right? Yeah, totally different metabolisms but Bob I want to take this cross asset and get your perspective on what is going on in credit markets in particular because if I look at spreads right now you have high yield spreads at about 500 basis points investment grade at about 150 basis points and while that is wider than where we started the month it's still below recent peaks over the past year How, is that a worrisome sign or do you think that basically credit has it right here I think that uh, it's not a worrisome sign yet. Could it get there? Yeah, if we're going to have a recession, I still think a mild recession is in the cards. You would expect those spreads are going to widen out some more. Um, that they have only begun to widen out is a surprise to me. I thought they would have widened before this, given all the turmoil. They So they've acted really well.